Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. It is almost 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other than the nine people that are in the waiting room, if you're watching this at any other time, just know that you're watching an uh, upload of a live chat. Hi guys, thanks for the thumbs up, whoever gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> um, let's see. Make sure my volume is off. Alright, so we'll just wait for people to come into the chat room. It is 7.01. I guess I've been running around <laughs> so many minutes that I have lost track of time. I, I thought I was before 7. Um, I just got through putting a chicken pot pie. Fix, I started fixing it about 5.30. It just came out the oven. I'm so hungry. All I had today was some bowl of frosted flakes of all things. I went to the grocery store this week and decided I'm going to get me some junk cereal. I'm always eating the multigrain Cheerios. So, yes. So thank you guys for coming. We're just waiting for some more people to come in since I didn't realize that I was late. <laughs> yeah, and I'm drinking a Sprite because I had to get something so I can get through this live. Hopefully I don't drink the whole thing. It's been a long week. And I don't really know where it went, except that I started to think about it. And I go, girl, you did two extra lives. And I had to prepare for that because I had to cut for the pineapple. I had to decide on what fabric. And then I had to iron all that fabric and then cut the fabric, which was easy on the die cutting system. But it was just a matter of touching so many pieces of uh, uh, fabric. So, yeah. Look like I'm going to be having trouble again with my chat on the phone like I did last week. My video stays, but then my chat disappears. So we've got 27 people. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm sure more people will come in. Um, I don't have a big agenda today. I just want to share some blocks. And uh, we'll talk about my week. I'll do my... <laughs> do that it's not a whole lot because you already know what my week's been like if you've watched the last two lives so in the room we have vivian calvi hi vivian you were the first to comment tonight welcome june billings is here hi june and june hansen is here hi t dv i don't know what that means <laughs> i'm sure it's a typo and vicky lemire is here hi vicky welcome Cool gal is here, says, hi, T and everyone. Cabin fever is setting in. Yes, honey. You know, I'm still not too bad about the cabin fever thing because all I did was essential things anyway. I went to Sam's, and I didn't go to Sam's every week. And then I would go to the post office, and I would um, go to, like, Aldi's. And where else in my week? Oh, the uh, bank. So those are my places, and all of them are within like a five mile radius of my home, like the whole, it's a circle loop of how I do it. <laughs> so I don't really, I wasn't out a whole lot anyway, so it was, it's not bothering me with the lock-in. Put that on medium, I think it was on low. So this is just normal for me. Uh, I am going to call like Terminex or somebody so they can come spray my uh, lawn so that I can get rid of any flying insects because I feel like I'm going to be using my deck a whole lot <laughs> and I notice when I go out there sometimes that I see wasps and stuff out there so I'm like you know what I'm going to spray that because I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time in my backyard this year so Tucker is here hi Tucker how are you and um he says, hey, T and everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, Tucker. Appreciate that. 
Did you upload the video on the purple quilt? I'm so bad. I've been so busy, Tucker. I haven't had a chance to go to your page. But I do plan to go over there and watch it. But let us know if you uploaded the your uh, video. Uh, June Hansen says, Hi, everyone got distracted making supper. That's what I just finished doing. So when I get off live, I can eat and not have to cook it. Um, Tiffany is here. Hi, Tiffany. She says, Hello, Tian, everyone. <laughs> Diane 57 is here. Hi, Diane. Melinda C says, hi, T and everyone. Hi, Melinda. Elaine Doucette says, hi, T. Hi, Elaine. And Deborah Richards is here. Says, hello, my quilting gangsters. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're kind of in demand right now, aren't we? Um, we've got Mary here. She says, our, oh, she's talking to Cool Gab, but she says our governor just extended the stay home order. I have a feeling uh, they were talking about like some areas trying to release starting April 27th in the U.S. USA, but I'm thinking that ours is probably going to end up being extended. Cynthia Shade is here, says good evening to all. Hi, Cynthia. Maria Mayer is here, says hi, T and everyone. Hi, Maria. Uh, Doris O says, hello, everyone. T, thank you again for Monday so long. I'm sure everyone had a great time. You are so welcome. It was It's kind of fun. It's just a matter that I have to get myself situated so I can get in here. And then I have to set reminders on my phone so I don't forget because, yeah, that's not normal time for me. But I enjoy doing it. Uh, let's see. Remo JS is here. says, hello, everyone from Bowie, Maryland. Welcome. And saying thumbs up. Thank you so much. Uh, Sin Forrest is here. She says, hello, T and our T Quilters family. Hi, Sin. Welcome back. Kevin the Quilter is here. Says, hey, T Quilters. How we all doing? <laughs> hey, Kevin. I miss you. Carrie Davis says, hello, everyone from Woodbridge, Virginia. Hi, Carrie. Welcome to the live chat. I don't remember your name, but you may have been in before, but just in case. <laughs> uh, Carol Green is here, says, hi, T and everyone. Hi, Carol. And Cheryl Abrams is also here. No, Abraham. I did it again. Sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> and that's why I look back down. I'm like, that's not right. But uh, hi to you as well. And Bonita Nance is here, says, hi, Miss T and everyone. Hi, Miss Bonita. Shaquita Pearson is here, says, hi, T and everyone. Hi, Miss Shaquita. Maddie Barnum is here, says, hi, T. Hi, Maddie. Welcome to chat. Lietta Bryan is here, says, hi, T and everyone. Hi, Lietta. And June is talking to Kevin, says, hi, Kevin. Still haven't gone to the store and seen if they chicken laid eggs yet. <laughs> Uh, Deborah says uh, her governor ended school for this semester. New Orleans mayor extended stay home until May 17th. Our schools have been closed too for the remainder of the year. Oh, he's so sweet. He go, I miss my sweet tea too. We need a so date. We can't. We're supposed to be in isolation. <laughs> we got to sew six feet apart at least, huh? <laughs> Which is easy to do in his studio. Um, but yeah. Cool Gal says, our governor today said we are two weeks behind New York. Everyone starting Saturday a.m. We have at 7 a.m. We have to start wearing masks, went out for grocery masks and essential personals. So, and I just wear it anyway. I don't know if it's mandated for Missouri yet, but I do it anyway because... I don't want to die. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure. But I just want to come on camera and verify that June Hansen did indeed send her, send $15 in for her mail back. Um, and then she also sent this nice, pretty Easter card. Just thought I'd share it with you all. Very pretty. Warmest Easter wishes for you. You are always so thoughtful and caring and kind in so many wonderful ways that somehow it seems you bring touches of spring to all the seasons and days. <laughs> and it's so, and so it's just natural on occasions like Easter 
and in fact every day the year through to hope that life's nicest and most wonderful things will find their way always to you. Happy, happy Easter. She said, thanks for everything you do for us. Be safe and take care, June Hansen. Well, thank you so much, June. I appreciate that. It's such a beautiful card. Very nice. And I'm just going to plop this back in here. And then I will be taking this to the computer. I have not done computer work in three weeks, guys, for people receiving blocks. So people like Maria Mayer, uh, even though I have shown your blocks and I showed uh, two other uh, boxes last week, I am going to be confirming those blocks are received by email today along with this. As soon as I, uh, well, right after I eat, <laughs> I put everything on my desk so that next time I go to my desk, I can't do anything but that. I got to get this done. I got to catch up. So more blocks that arrive this one is from brenda harwood out of apollo beach florida this one is actually number 21 uh-oh i opened the box upside down because this came out <laughs> this is her return envelope gotta make sure i keep up with that See, this is my kind of girl. I'll use a trash bag for a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> I love it. Uh, she's got her return in information in here along with her zip code. She says, hi, Miss T. We are so thankful for you and the joy quilting brings to our lives. I am a mentor of Carolyn Bowser from New York. She motivated me to do these very hard projects as a beginner i am learning and enjoying it much enjoying it very much sincere thanks brenda and she's got bb <laughs> well thank you brenda that's really sweet and thank you carlin for encouraging her and she's got uh 52 blocks on her paper i'm not counting blocks anymore i'm just moving on because i got so much i am so behind with everything i just have a lot on my schedule and then other things pop up like this past week. I felt like it wasn't really mine, but she's got some beautiful blocks if she's having difficulty as a beginner. Isn't that just pretty? And she's got some shaping into it. Let's see if I cut this light off for just a, that doesn't work. It might be this light then. Yep, that's my sewing machine light. See what it looks like if I cut that one back on. Does it still glare it out? Yep. One more time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Trying to make sure you all can see the blocks. So, and she does have a light piece of fabric that's on the bottom. So, but you can see it a little better now with the light off. So, there's one. And we'll show another one. She's beyond beginner stage to me. She's got some extra piecing in the ones that are all on the top that I can see. So, very neat. And again, your name doesn't have to be spot center. It just needs to have another piece of fabric going around all edges of this center square other than your black frame. So thank you so much for participating. Really appreciate that. I'll be sending confirmation emails. I did go to the post office today. These came in Monday. And I haven't seen any other uh blocks come in so if you sent something it's still in the mail so i'm gonna put this in the bag but use the note so i can email her when i get off of live and after i eat <laughs> Gotta remember to eat, guys. Sometimes I forget to eat. Like today I ate the cereal. It was already after one o'clock when I ate cereal. And you know how long cereal stays in your system. Not at all. So this next box is from Shaquita Pearson from Rosewell, Georgia. And she has her paper inside. She says she has a total of 50 blocks with her email. 
and she has them like I think folded in sets of tens and they're staggered too very nice and she's got one of those uh, Ziploc bags that I was talking about I think they're like three either two gallon or three gallon I can't remember but this one is a different shape it may not even be Ziploc because the name isn't on it but nice bag Shaquita And she's got some extra stuff going on, too. I saw in some in the back. <laughs> Very nice. And, oh, look at the bright, pretty colors. And I haven't looked at um, comments in the chat, so I'm just showing you the two sets of blocks that came in. And, uh, Shaquita, you're number 22? Yes, number 22. And then I'll go through and see if I can find one of those ones I was flipping through. <laughs> I saw something with some kind of angle or something I thought yeah this one right here she had some extra piecing in this piece here I really like very nice blocks very bright just love it and thank you so much for participating as well beautiful work And I will be getting confirmation emails out as well. Put this on top because I can see it through the bag. So for my week, I just feel like I haven't done a whole lot. I, um, I did get the binding on my quilt, but I have not done the label or started hand sewing any of the binding down and that's a bed quilt it's huge so it's gonna take me forever to hand sew the binding to the back uh, if I'm if it's a quilt for me I tend to hand sew the binding to the back but if I'm giving it as a gift then I'll go ahead and sew it on the sewing machine and that's because I'm a teacher and so when I present stuff or if I might enter it into a quilt show later I want to make sure that I've got uh, appropriate techniques especially if it's something that's being judged but i don't know yet if i'm going to enter this and into, into anything but anything that i do show in my lectures unless it's part of the lecture i try to do it in true traditional quilting style so did that and then i also did the cut for the pineapple blocks if you all didn't see the two lives that i did on saturday night and monday I cut with my AccuQuilt Go some pineapples and I have been sewing these together. So we're just doing, we're just chatting while I sew these. I did in the first live that I put up Saturday, I did go through how I cut using the AccuQuilt system, uh, let people know how to prep their dye for cutting so if you're interested in that if you have AccuQuilt interested in a pineapple dye then you can go look at the live video on Saturday whatever date that was because I can't remember <laughs> and um, on Monday we came in during the daytime and I actually sewed some more and got those six blocks completed we started those six blocks on Saturday and then I got uh, those completed on Monday and I have six more blocks that I'll be doing I'm hoping I'll come back again Saturday at 9 p.m., hopefully. Um, I got uh, six more blocks that I cut. I cut a total of 12 blocks for this, so I'm hoping that we can continue to do the sew along with that since this isn't a project that I need anytime soon. Uh, other than that, when you think you're done with... Well, I knew I wasn't done making masks because I ordered the filthy cloth, but I'm thinking, you know, I got time or whatever. And then I put up a thing. I went to the groomer on Monday. And the groomers, they had three people working because of her space to keep the six feet of uh, social distancing. And I didn't know that groomers were considered essential because I always schedule the dog for the same day every month. And so I figured that they were going to be closed, so I called them at 7 a.m. thinking, oh, you know, I won't have to get out of bed because they're closed. Well, no, they were open 
And I hate to miss my appointments because when they make appointments, it's hard for you to get in. I wasn't really happy about it. My daughter was talking about I would cancel. I'm like, no, I'm going to go ahead and take her. If they're open, I'm just going to suit up and go take her. When I got there, none of those employees had on masks. So I went and made those people masks. So then that already piqued some interest in masks. And then I came back and uploaded a video on masks. And then because somebody was asking me how can I show them how to make it and I said I just uploaded a video or oh, I just made a video so I got the video uploaded gave it to them so that they could do it or watch it whether they do it or not I don't know but um, then people started wanting masks more people in my family which is why I bought the filthy cloth because I figured eventually I'm gonna have to probably make masks for everybody in my family so yeah and then I had a couple of uh, line dancers out of Chicago wanting masks. So I am in mask making production. And then my <laughs> my niece called, I, I was gonna make her two anyway. And she wants six masks. I said, girl, you're gonna have to pay me for something. You know, I don't mind making people two masks, but when you start saying six, and I really hate making these masks, you know, I still hate making them, but the using the straps makes it so that it's a little bit easier to do especially if you're gonna put the wire in them but um yeah <laughs> i'm still not happy making them i really it's like the last thing i want to do but i've spent a lot of time this week making masks okay so my niece who works for terminax says i want bugs and mice i said girl look i don't have mice i wouldn't buy fabric with mice on it <laughs> i hate mice i hate mice and i hate squirrels rats anything like that any critters that i consider uh mousy in 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 family i don't like them but i ended up finding finding a fabric that had hornets wasps yellow jackets and roaches <laughs> And dragonflies of all things. It was just weird what the what all the difference is. But look at this fabric. I wouldn't want to put this on my face, but she just enjoys this kind of stuff. She loves it. And then I found one that had some more uh, wasp or yellow jackets. I don't know what these are. So yeah. Um, so she was really happy to get these. But look, she wants six. So. I got them all cut out, uh, and I just haven't come back in here to sew them. And then my husband comes home today. He stopped at the store, grocery store on the way home, so he goes to wear his mask, which had the flannel on him, and I washed them before he used them, right? And then he comes in, and he says, I can't wear these masks. They're too little because the elastic wouldn't stay behind his ears. And I was like, oh, my God, I did wash and dry them to go ahead and make them shrink. So just be aware that some people may have a longer span between here. It doesn't look like he does. So it's either that or the flannel really shrunk. So I can't, I thought my flannel was pre-washed when I put it up. So maybe my flannel wasn't washed. It just had some straggly edges like it had been washed. So be careful with the flannel when you're making masks. So now I got to make two for him again. So, and this time he's, he wants to tie on. So that way he can adjust it as he needs so yeah I am like sick and tired of making these masks I have lost count at one point I was counting how many masks I made I'm gonna have to go back and recount or add on I had a sheet somewhere in here I probably have it up there now because I may have been trying to put it in the computer but um, if you all enjoy making masks I just I'm just so happy that you do because I don't and I'm glad that somebody is making them to send to everybody because <laughs> I think I'm about at mass number 40 somewhere in that neighborhood because I just made 12 overnight. I made some last week, made some the week before, and then I had made the big batch where I know I had done 26. So I'm, I'm, I'm at least over 40 masks and I just don't like them. <laughs> I do like uh, the construction of the straps, even though I do a little bit more work. I do like those so much better, though. So let me go back through chat here, see who all has come into the room. Let 
lot of you are saying that the blocks are beautiful. So thank you all for that. They are beautiful. <laughs> I'm trying to go back. I don't know why I'm all the way. I guess because I put my phone face down and it just bounced to the bottom. I remember Lietta coming in. I remember June talking about the chickens. Quilt gal saying that they were closed. They were behind New York by two weeks. Um, Kevin says, I know, girl, I would wear a mask and gloves on the other side of the room laughing out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes I did we haven't even chatted in a while too but we just be we both are busy that's what I said this is my normal life so nothing for me has changed as far as work is concerned because I'm home working all day all night anyway so nothing has really changed for me so a lot of people a lot of other people are getting stuff done but not me uh, Diane says why wait to wear masks um, I don't know who would wait to wear masks because I think everybody needs to have a mask because every state has somebody that has the virus. So I, even before they told me to wear a mask, I was wearing a mask. Tiffany says, I wear a mask too. If I got to go out, can't be getting sick for me at all. Exactly. Adrian Reyes is here. Hi, Adrian. Welcome. She says, hey to everyone. Teresa McCormick is here saying hello all from Wisconsin. Hello as well. And Tucker says that I did not get to make the video for two reasons. First, I am at my grandma's far away from my frame. And second, I am waiting till I get my long arm. Okay, awesome. All righty. So thanks so much, Tucker, for the update. Diane Ricks is here. Says, hello, everyone. Hi, TN, everyone. Hi, Diane. How are you doing? Um... And uh, June saying she's hoping your grandma's okay. And Tucker said, also, I will be staying at my grandma's for a while because my dad works with somebody who has the virus. Okay, so that's great. I'm glad you're being safe and uh, doing that. And then you also get to make sure your grandma's okay, too. Maddie says, T, I came on too late to do blocks. <laughs> if you can get 50 blocks done by March 15th or so, then go ahead and go for it. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to get their blocks in before, I mean, not March, May 15th, before May 31st, which was our original deadline, because I'm going to have to find a space because we got so many people. I'm going to have to now find a space to do that um, prior so that I can have them ready to go back out and I can get some people to help me. Now that we're in a lockdown, I don't know where that space is going to come from or um how that's gonna work because i don't know if we're even gonna have our may retreat it hasn't been decided yet i need to send that email out uh, they were talking about maybe extending two weeks our retreat is in illinois and illinois was one of those states that was hit hard as well uh, in the chicago area although we're more on the east side of uh, it's well the west side north side east side <laughs> <laughs> of Chicago so it won't really affect us much um, but you know if the whole state is under something then they've got to do what they got to do so and we're undecided right now if we're even retreating because we don't even know if we can retreat until April 30th when that's the deadline for the current stay at home so let's see A lot of people are talking about how pretty the blocks are. I'm going to skip some of that. Um, Susan Martin says, I'm here too, T. Hey, Susan. Welcome. And Lietta says she's made about 30 blocks right now. Uh, Elaine says, got to agree with you, T. Only making masks now when asked. <laughs> yeah, because I volunteered and made them for the uh, dog groomer place, made six masks. And then I didn't, I'm thinking that I still got, you know, comfortable lax time. And then all these people come up uh, wanting masks. I had four more people this week that I've made masks for. I've got everybody order done except for my niece who wants six. But I'm almost done. I said, woo-wee. 
Oh, Leanna says she's made about 30. I'm thinking she's made 30 masks, not 30 blocks, 30 masks. Sorry about that, Leanna. Um, Joan Elkins said that she didn't like the mask either, and she said hi to you and everyone. Hi, Joan Elkins. June says, I made 50. That's enough. Sin's reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up while we're thinking about it. <laughs> Thank you, Sin. Kelly A is here. Hi, Kelly. She says, I hear you, T. I dislike making them, too. Cool Girl says, I've been on strike for two days for making masks. <laughs> awesome. Just blunt, burnt out. I'm waiting for my filthy fabric to come. One week waiting so far. I just got a request for six and another one. Request for six and another one for all I can make. Okay. For all you can make. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and see, I didn't want to be in the mass selling business. Um, and even the people, like when my niece wanted six, I just figured she needed to pay something for six because I'm giving my family members two. And I figured if she wanted six, she needed to pay for them. So I didn't even, I charged her five bucks. I don't even know if that's considered too much for the other four or not. But I figured with all the material that I, you know, it's harder now because I got to get fabric I want to cut to so that my straps match. And then on one of hers... It's not on the mash yet. I'm still working on these. I've got them all at the first stages of sewing. Um, but I did go ahead and use two different oranges. They don't match. But um, this one's a spider one. And this is uh, some stars. It was in my Halloween. I had went through my two and a half inch strings. And I just didn't have a whole lot of them that matched. So then I had to go to my shelf and start picking fabrics that I didn't mind losing the fabric if I need it in the future, you know, so, yeah. Whew. Doing the straps just take uh, more material, shall I say. And also, I've been seeing where some of the quilt shops, especially a local quilt shop in Wood River, Illinois, saying that they have elastic again, so elastic must be uh, being shipped to the quilt shops now, so they may be in again. Let's see. And Diane 57 degrees say that they are boring. Hi, Mike. Mike is here. He says, hey, pretty girl, miss you. Please, when this is all over, come cook for us. <laughs> and they will put me to work. <laughs> uh, I miss you too, Mike. I can't wait to come back. Um, she says they aren't in Kansas. They had to quit. I don't know what Mary is talking about. I must have missed a previous comment. Cheryl Clute is here. Says, sorry, I'm late. You're never late. You get here when you get here, girl. Fit in where you fit in. <laughs> um, Cheryl says, I tried your new mask. Did it work or not? <laughs> um, Jennifer is here. She says, I can't stand making them too. I'm about to put my two weeks, put in my two weeks laughing out loud. Exactly. It's like, oh my God. Uh, Kelly A says, Mary, I missed something. What have they been doing in KS? Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> when people find out you're a mask maker, they come out of the woodwork. Yes, they do. And I'm one of those uh, ones that people know that I would do it for free too. So, uh, that kind of enhances how, how that people wanting them. So what I've been doing is I'll, if you're not my family, I'll make you one for free. If you ask me, I don't tell them that, but if you ask me, I'll give you one for free. And then you got to pay for any additional ones and the shipping and handling to get it to you. So, um, that's how I kind of been handling it. Cause I can't, I don't like making them. And I am a quilter. I'm not a sewer or a mask maker. And so I don't want to spend my time. I've spent almost any, other than my lives for doing the pineapple and putting the binding on my quilt, I have been making masks. And I don't like it. I want to spend my time somewhere else. So Kelly A says, Mary, I'm, oh, she, that's the one I read. Then 
Sin says, try t-shirt strips, quick, easy, and comfy. Yeah, I have seen that before too, but I, I actually like my strips, but I will try some t-shirt uh, strips. I have seen people using that. I um, had just thrown away a whole lot of t-shirts because I have so many scraps downstairs. And I had this bag I've been trying to get my husband to take to donate these t-shirts. They were like more blouse t-shirt, may have had some decorative, like pleating or something. And I, you know, that's the stuff I was wearing when I was working, put under my blazers or something. So I'm like, you know, I need to get rid of this stuff. And I ended up just dumping it one day because it just never got out of here after it had sat in the middle of my bedroom for three weeks. And I just dumped it in the trash. And as soon as I dump it in the trash, that's when we need them for t-shirts, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I do have some other t-shirt scraps in my basement, but then I have to go down there and go through storage and get them. So, but I'll figure out something. I'll try at least one with the t-shirt strap so I can see how it works. Uh, uh, somebody, uh, Mary is saying at Kelly, groomers come and use the same rule as beauty salon, so they had to quit working for now, which is what I would have expected. Um, otherwise, I do realize that certain dogs will mat if they're not groomed, depending on the breed. So, I, I do, I kind of understand why they're open, but I didn't think that grooming a dog was necessary. I think veterinarians are essential because you can't tell... You can't plan when your animal is going to get sick. So I can see veterinarians being open, being open, but this is a pure grooming shop. So, uh, Carolyn Bowser is here. Hi, Carolyn. I just opened up Brenda's blocks, and she said that you had encouraged her to participate in this swap. So thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate your support. It's all about teaching the next quilter and making sure that people know that even though something looks complicated, it's not as complicated if you break it down step by step. So, I appreciate you being her mentor. Cheryl says, I am finally making masks for my own family. Yeah, and that's the thing. We've been making uh, making them and donating them. And then, now I think everybody is going to need masks. And especially when the winter hits again, it's going to flare up again. So, we just need to all be prepared and be ready to have everybody in our family masked up. So they have no excuse. Whether they wear it or not, at least you know you gave them a mask. So, um, Quilgale says, it's not too much if you use filthy fabric in them. Yeah, that's what I used in mine. I don't know what the question was or the reference to her statement. But um, I actually like it. It's lightweight. See, when I did the flannel one, I went outside. It wasn't even hot yet. And I was like suffocating up in here with the flannel. So I had to get rid of the flannel. And then when I went to two pieces of cotton, I wanted to have something in between. And that's when I went to the polypropylene bags. I just started cutting those up. Um, and then when I got the filthy fabric, that's what I'm using now. So, yeah, I like the filthy fabric. It's lightweight. And then they also have specs on its... Uh, ability. Uh, I don't know if you all went to the CDC website. They have a chart telling you how many microns, what percent of microns are blocked by a particular type of mask. And bandanas was kind of down low on the list with like two layers. It was only like 40% or something. And then like four layers may have been 45% or something like that. But go check out the CDC's website so that you can get that chart and see but they had quilting cotton just two layers of quilting cotton by itself was at least 70 percent if i'm not mistaken and then if i'm putting a filthy uh cloth uh fabric cloth in there then i'm sure that increases it some but i felt like the quilting cloth cotton we were way up there i was really impressed and i think like regular t-shirt material because it has more holes in it even though it's 100 percent cotton it's a uh, it's air goes through it a little bit i think so I don't, I think it was a little lower than quilting cotton, but yeah, our quilting cotton was pretty up there. So I feel very confident in wearing my mask out, even not necessarily just to protect me from other people, but I feel like it will protect to some point other people that may have the virus from me getting it as well when I saw that chart. So they've done all kinds of studies on it. 
Um, uh, Kelly A said, oh, uh, Quilt Gal saying that my cost of my $5 is not high if I forgot the filthy cloth in it. Thank you. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, because I was asking was $5 too much. My goal is I'm not trying to make money off of people doing an epidemic. I don't want somebody to not have something because they can't afford it. And everybody can't afford to even spend five dollars for a mask. So I figured if I know you or if I see you, then I will. Uh, and I see you don't have a mask. Like I got some uh, mail fabric I want to do for the people in my post office. At least the ones that are up in the front talking to customers and the mail carrier that I that we have. And I noticed at our post office that they now have uh, plastic partitions up so that they're not talking directly to you. So I, I appreciate them doing that too because that didn't make sense. If you're going to have these essential businesses open, you need to at least protect these people as much as possible if you don't have access to masks. So very nice. Things are improving as we go along. This is all new to everybody. So... Um, Wanda J. Oh my gosh, she says some masks are selling for twenty dollars. I think the nurses and nursing homes have more than enough. Uh, I can't see charging somebody twenty dollars for a mask. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't comfortably do that and then go to sleep at night. I just don't want somebody for me to make free masks for people and then they want like six, like my niece who really wants six, probably needs six because she's probably gonna wear them. She's a exterminator for Terminex and so she's probably going to put it over her N95 mask because that's what they wear anyway to exterminate and she's got a super duper heavy duty mask but she just want to decorate it since everybody is wearing decorative masks now so I know what she's going to do with it she's just using it to cover her N95 but um yeah I can't charge somebody that kind of money but I don't want somebody to have me making them six for free so that was my rationale for at least pay $5. And Cheryl says, yes, she liked the uh, process. She said, I put the mask down for a day and worked on blocks. Carlin says, the instructions you gave were very clear. I tried to, like, bring that. I brought the camera in really close because that was my second time recording it. Because when I had it before, it was back where you all were. And you couldn't really see what I was doing all the way back over here in front of the needle. So I uh, ended up redoing the sewing part. I left the intro. So that was my second time recording. So I wanted to get up close and personal with the sewing. And I didn't fast forward any of it because I wanted you all to see uh, the entire process. So thank you so much, Carolyn. Joan says, besides, I don't like having to go to the PO. Yeah, I, I have to go. <laughs> I don't have a choice since... I have mail coming in, and sometimes I have mail coming in from businesses, and I don't know if it's there or not, so I do have to go. But most times when I go just to check my P.O. box, I'll go before they open. I have a um, one that has a 24-hour lobby, and so I can go in and get stuff sent if I need to. My problem comes in if somebody sends a package, then I have to go to the window to pick up people packages but lately they don't want us at the door so they've been giving me a key to a bigger box that I don't pay for and then I've been picking up our blocks from those bigger ones so I've been going uh, sometimes I'll go before they open and then other times if, I, if I'm making orders then I try to go around 11 or 12 if I'm uh, processing orders but all I'm doing is just dropping off and I'm not getting in any lines or anything like that so Let's see. Quilt Gas says, the only thing is that I'm getting rid of my stash. The only good thing is I'm getting rid of my stash. I would probably die with my stash because even though I'm making these masks, I'm still using mostly scraps or things that I currently bought from other people at uh, our flea for all we had. And I got some material from Kevin <laughs> a little while back. So I've been using a lot of fabrics like that. Kayla is here. Hi, Kayla. She says, hello, everyone. Welcome. Nisi Maz here says, I finished my blocks. What kind of fabric pen should I get? You should get, to me, a Secura Micron pen. Secura, S-A-K-U-R-A, -A, Micron, M-I-C-R-O-N, 
05. That's the one I like to use. And you can order that on Amazon. Uh, let's see. And Mary says, T, do you sleep? You know, ever since this stuff been going on, I have not been sleeping very well. I was up to uh, 5 o'clock this morning. Got back up at, what, 9 o'clock? Because I had things I had to do. I had to make masks. This girl, that was in the, uh, one of the girls in the Chicago area, she was being assigned back to work this week. So I was trying to get her stuff. I put her ahead of everybody else because I was trying to get her stuff to her and get it made. She said she had been looking for somebody to make her some masks. And so I wanted to make sure that I got hers in the mail today. So I was up last night. Uh, no, I got up at 9, uh, 9 o'clock because I was working on other people. I was trying to wait to see if she wanted me to, because she just asked me if I would make them, and then I didn't know how many she wanted. If she just wanted one, I would just make it for free. But if you want more than one, I needed to know what it was she wanted and how she wanted them, if you wanted elastic on her ears, if you want ties. And, uh, yeah, so I got her order. I wanted to get it into the mail today, so that's why I got up early. And then I start. My daughter, I told you all about her car. She doesn't have a vehicle right now. She don't have her car fixed yet. And so she's working from home, thank God. But um, she, um, I'm seeing notifications, guys, sorry. <laughs> but she needed a few things from the grocery store. So the first day I attempt to go to the grocery store, which was Monday, they were, didn't open till noon the day after Easter, and I didn't know that. I didn't pick up on that. Now, normally, they send out all kind of emails. I missed that email for some reason. So then I had to wait, and I did it uh, today. I went to the store for her, got her some stuff, got the dog some treats, and then I dropped all of that off. You know, it just, everything takes time. And then I had to do my rounds. I had to go put gas in my car. I had to go to the post office just to make sure to see if anything had come in for more blocks. And uh, then I come back home, but yeah, it, it's all a process. And nothing goes as smoothly as you think. Um, June says, I went back to making churn dash blocks. Somehow they got put away, so I found them. So working on them, and I haven't even had a chance to lay out the blocks that you all sent me for my birthday to get those going. I really want to get that put together, and I was hoping that I could have worked on it at um, the T Quilts Retreat, which I'm hoping is still planned. Um, we haven't, I did talk with the people. I did get some um, notification from them and they are working, the office staff are working from home. Uh, she says that they have canceled retreats, but I'm thinking by the time June comes, we should be ready to go because I think uh, they're planning now to open uh, everything March 15th and then that gives us a few weeks to make sure nobody is still getting sick out here <laughs> and uh, hopefully by the we're in the third week of June we should be okay so I'm hoping and still got my fingers crossed that our June retreat will happen my May retreat may be canceled just because it's in the state of Illinois uh, and they got a worse situation than what Missouri has So yes, um, uh, Mary's asking, do you have a basement you can use for the blocks? Nope, that's the man cave. But I also have my uh, storage. You know, I'm a lecturer, quilt lecturer, so I have all these different topics that I do lectures on, and so I have all the various quilts. I probably have over 600 quilts in this house. And you all have seen some of my stash, and some of my stash is also downstairs. My Christmas fabrics is downstairs. Uh, flannels. I even, I got home decks that I have down there, and then I got, like, batting scraps and stuff down there as well. Uh, Kansas Stay at Home just got extended to May 3rd today. That's good to know, because we're close to Kansas. We're the next, we're a bordering state. Uh, she said, what blocks... What do the blocks consist of besides black borders? Um, you all are going to have to do some research. You're going to have to go to YouTube. In the search box, search for T-Quilts Block Swap. It's the only one we have. And then there's a video that's going to come up with me in a red shirt. And click the video because that video will tell you 
everything you need to know about the swap it also gives you a link to the pattern with all the instructions and requirements because that's been a while it was in january Uh, Cheryl says, same here, T. The family offered to pay the postage. I have a lot of material that can be used. Yes, and I don't even mind using the material because it's like I got so much. I told you all my scraps are overflowing because I've been buying other people's scraps that I'm trying to, if I, if I can't put it up, it's going to get cut. So I pulled out another bag today to start making the mask that was requested this week. So, yeah, I'm using whatever I put my hands on. And I do try to, uh, if it's a male... I try to at least make it so it's not something girly. Uh, and then I had my I had another nephew want some because he's still working. He's in the car service industry. And so he wanted some. So I made him some with the flame fabric. I had blue flame and the orange flame. So I made him two like that. So they're really cute. And I used the checkerboard for the straps. It's really cute. So I'm like, I got scraps. <laughs> so... Um, uh, um, Mary's been probably making, Diane's been probably making too many masks. That's why she's tired. She fell asleep. June Hansen said, you did an awesome job showing how to make them. Thank you so much. Uh, Sin says, after four plus week of daily mask sewing, I'm done with it. We'll only do a few for family, friends, or neighbors. On, on a demand only basis I'm, if I'm bad so be it yeah and that's where I am I've been kind of just making them as I see the demand and I do know I had always in the back of my head that I'm going to have to make them for my family eventually because everybody is going to need them and I just haven't I've been working on other quilting stuff and I haven't sat down and actually made them so then when some of those families start requesting them early because of their jobs um I think uh, young people weren't taking it serious at first. And so now I'm getting some of the young people wanting me to get them mad. So I'm glad they're at least starting to pay attention. That's the great thing. So, and I don't have, I have never made them so that I'm ahead of schedule. So when somebody requests them, I can go here, I just, here come get these two, here come get these two. No, <laughs> you know, I don't like making them. So I don't want to have them like that. I even got to make them for my husband now. I noticed that I am spooling on my phone, but it's still telling me that I'm recording. So just kind of refresh or wait a little bit. I mean, I'm still frozen on the phone. <laughs> am I frozen to you all? Okay.
You saying I'm okay there? I can't get it to come up on my phone. So it looks like I'm still recording on the screen. It's never given me. Um, it's never given me. Um, let me go out and see if it's just my phone. You can see me and you can hear me? Okay, let me see if it's my phone. Let me try to reboot my phone. I know I rebooted the, um, I rebooted the iPad because it had an issue before where it kicked us out because I hadn't rebooted. So I rebooted that, but I didn't do my phone. So let me check it. I can see and hear you. Okay, so it's not working on my phone. So give me a few minutes to get it back up. And so sorry, guys. I'm always seeming to have some issues with technology, but I think it all stems from either when it's YouTube's acting up or, uh, you know, a lot of people are now online, and so they have reduced our network usage. So I'm having difficulty with my network usage. So it's back on, so let me... Log in. <laughs> okay. So I probably have to go cut all of this stuff back off. Okay. Let's see if it comes up now. All right, so it was just my phone. Settings. My uh, display went down, so I'm trying to get that back. It still looks awfully, awfully dark, but we're not gonna worry about it. We got it back. All right, let me go back and scroll up, guys. So thanks for letting me know you can still hear me because I was totally confused. <laughs> okay. I was about to cut you guys off. <laughs> Let's see. Mary's saying, sorry, guys, for the strange post. I've been knee deep in taxes so my brain is fried <laughs> i try to always do them before the month of april i hate doing them at the last minute uh let's see let me go back up because i know i missed some stuff lisa peg she says hello t hello t and everyone hope you all are well very much appreciative of your mass video that tuck made such a difference yes and that was the thing it was like it fit like me, I didn't even need the nose piece. It's just the mask must be made for my style of nose, okay? Because it fit perfect up in here. But then when I put the binding on, when I went from the elastic to the binding, and it it didn't fit under here. And it did fit the one that I didn't have the with just the elastic. It fit, but I got tired. I didn't. I don't even wear the mask a lot, and I already got tired of the elastic behind the ears. And it's because I wear glasses. And so I wanted to do the ones with the strips. So I do like those, but then it just puck, puckered out a little bit. It just stuck out. And so I wanted to get that tuck in there. And some people, you know, again, it's going to be depending on your chin. You may need a bigger tuck. So that's something you're going to have to play with. But I appreciate that tuck being in there. And it helps to curve it around the... Um... I'm trying to figure out why is my screen... Even though my screen is saying that it is um, it's up, I'm, I'm looking at a dark screen. So let me figure this out, guys. Saying the brightness is all the way up. So something is off. Hmm. I have no idea. Saying it's all the way up, but it's not. So I hit something somewhere. 
Let me just go back in. I'll figure it out later. Um, so, yes, let me go back. <laughs> um, I think it was Lisa Pegg I read last. Um, and thanks so much for your comment, Lisa. I appreciate that. Cheryl says, I made 2,000 masks. If I made 2,000 masks, I would still have stash. Yes. <laughs> I think we're all in the same boat. I can't make enough quilts to use the stash that I have. June says, now with the fabric left from the mask and using, I'm using in the charm uh, blocks. And I've been adding to my strip collection. Um... Uh, Mar and Diana says, uh, somebody must say that it take them an hour to do a mask. If I'm doing one mask, I can do it like in 15 minutes or so. But I'm assembly lining because I try to do the same thing at the same time for a certain number of masks. And so far, I've only been working on six at a time where I assembly line six of them. So, um, yeah, they do take more time. And then if you're trying to make sure that it's... You know, you're trimming your threads and all of that. It does take more time. So, and I think the binding ones, would, when you're putting the straps with the fabric, that they take a little longer because you got to press those straps in. And that's where I think it was Sin who said use T-shirts. Uh, that might be even faster to sew on. Um... And uh, Lisa saying she's tired of making them and she's only finishing what she's got cut and then she's done unless someone else needs one. Um, I saw a post on like a meme where they had this lady, her husband had took a picture of her. She had fell asleep over her sewing machine, said that she had made over 2,000 masks and she was just exhausted and said she, would, she wouldn't go to bed. She was like, no, I got to help. I got to do this. That was really sweet of her, but she has worked herself into exhaustion. And then I did get Ellie Scrapper. I told her, happy birthday. I saw it, but I wanted to make sure I told you before I left, but I did type it in. But it says, T, it's my birthday today, and I think you said something about yours. When was it? When is it? My birthday is not till July. They gave me blocks last July that I haven't put together yet. And I want to get them done by next July for sure in twenty. 21 because if we have a quilt show I want to put that quilt into our quilt show June says we don't have any in my town this part of Iowa has been very lucky no the town I'm glad your town's okay and they, they've said it's even been getting into rural areas too so just I just wear a mask everywhere I go just to be safe June uh, not June she's talk, Lisa is talking to sin and uh you're welcome, Maddie. She says, okay, that's what I need, the block info. And then a lot of you are saying happy birthday to Ellie, which is very sweet of you all. Okay, so I see a lot of you all were commenting to me, so thank you all so much. Tucker says, I am making 16 masks with the pattern T. Working out good. Thanks for the pattern. You're so welcome, and thanks for letting me know. Um, I did cut a bunch at one time, then sew as I can. That's from Cheryl. And that's a good idea, too. Is I have some pieces that I got back here that I have, like, pre-cut. Not a whole lot because I've been using them lately. But I do have a few pieces. I even uh, had some of the flannel ones still back here. But I've decided I'm not making any more of those right now because summer is coming. So... I do have other pieces here that are pre-cut. Even still got some polypropylene, even though I've switched over to filthy. I still got a few pieces of that. But um, So I do have a stack I can pull from. But then if I'm doing the uh, straps with cotton fabric, then I got to go figure that out. Um, Ellie says, yeah, I'm along with y'all on the mask. Everyone wants one, and that is why I stopped making them to see how you were making yours because I think the pattern I made takes too long. And this this does take some time to do if you're trying to do the straps. Like I said, you got to go press them and 
pressing two straps isn't bad, but when somebody asks you to make them six masks and you've got to now press 12 straps, you know, it's time consuming. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that part, but I do like the construction of the mask better with the straps, be it with quilt cotton or even if you're using a t-shirt. Joan says, yes, I laugh when it says 10-minute mask. It takes me an hour, too. <laughs> yeah, I have never, I don't think I've made one in 10 minutes. I, the, when I was doing them with the elastic, it took me about 15, but I wasn't putting a nose piece in. And then when I went and put the nose piece in, when I had one lady wanted two regular, two with, e, two with straps and two with elastic. So then I went to put the elastic ones together, and, you know, you do the flip and sew on that. And I had to figure out how to push the nose, uh, the pipe cleaner up in there so that I could hold it in place while, until I stitched it. And that was hard. It took a lot longer. I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't want to make any more masks. <laughs> oh gosh. And Diane was also saying restart your phone. But thank you all so much. I appreciate when you all are trying to help me because I have no idea when it's acting up on my end. So now I need to re remember to always restart the iPad and restart my phone. <laughs> and that's only because this is something new recently with them, like, you know, cutting down on bandwidth. So, Shrivia's here. She says, okay, here. I like the way you make the mask. Thank you so much. Linda Jenkins is saying she's here. Hi, Linda. Some of you all are helping me out that didn't tell me you were here. <laughs> Sandra Cubbins saying, okay, here. Hi, Sandra. Let me get some of you guys. <laughs> um, Tiffany says, I'm going to get going. I'm very tired. Can't sleep. And uh, going to get up and pretend to watch cartoons with the girls. <laughs> Bye, Tiffany. I'm sure she's long gone by now. Thanks, Diane, for telling people to please like by clicking the thumbs up button, share, subscribe if you're new and haven't yet, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I go live or when I upload a video. Um, Teresa saying goodnight by Teresa. See, even though it means cutting sewing a large curve, I prefer making the Olsen mask and can do one on my serger in about 15 minutes start to finish. And that's the one that I want to at least try one of. I haven't done yet. So, yeah. But I didn't. I think it's just my face. My face fit the rectangular mask pretty good. I don't have any gapping. So, I, I still want to just try one of the masks anyway. Remo saying goodnight, everyone. Finished painting my new sewing and quilting studio. Hope you have fun decorating that and organizing it. Bye-bye, everybody. Um, and Ellie says, thank you, everyone, for the birthday wishes. So that's really sweet. Show says, I started using muslin for straps if I only had enough material for mask itself. And that's why I was putting muslin on the underside so that I was trying to stretch out my materials. Like if I had a fat quarter, I would sew two straps together to make the strap long enough. So I was being creative, too, with trying to conserve the print fabric and just give people one side of a mask. You just, if you want to flip it so that it's white on the outside, go for it. Um, and Mary says, you are pretty as usual, and I hear your sweet voice. <laughs> Diane says, I'm using electric wire, very thin leaving coating in and that's a good idea too because i talked about that even that jewelry wire floor wire you can use any of those things whatever you got because i didn't want to go buy anything so what i had was pipe cleaners and they are you know with the you know they're a little fluffy but i just smooth it down i push over the only thing the wire is still thin so you can stitch if you accidentally stitch some of the fluffiness on the pipe cleaner it's not a big deal but I didn't have any problem stitching them. I just had to get it up inside of the one with the elastic where I did the flip and turn. It was hard for me to get it up into the right position. But, um, yes. Ellie says, I'm 
really having a blessed one. I just check my account and see that the government check has been deposited, but I don't trust it for some reason. How you guys feel about it? Uh, they on the IRS website they have said that you know it's a tax free thing unless you make over seventy five thousand dollars this year. Then I'm sure you'll have to pay some portion of it back in taxes. But if as long as or $150,000 if you're married. So, and then if you got kids, they add on for that as well. So, they're, they are saying that it's tax-free and it's legit. So, it's already in there, girl. Just go for it. If you're not comfortable with it, then just put it into savings until you do your taxes for next year and you have a nice surprise for yourself next year. But, I, um, I plan to probably cut the tree that the squirrels live in in my house. <laughs> I will probably cut that tree and then probably put a tree in my backyard maybe because this tree is in my front yard since the squirrels seem to like my car better than they do the tree anyway uh, it's a sweet gum tree so it's the it's a tree that feeds them so I'm trying to just get rid of that particular tree it's and I hate it because it's a beautiful tree I love it but it's got to go if the squirrels are going to chew my wires uh, Lisa Pegg says you're good here Cheryl says, Ellen, my daughter got her check, but not me yet. Um, Serena Gonzalez says, aloha from Hawaii, working from home. We're about to sign off, but welcome. And you can go back and rewatch if you want. We've been just chit-chatting, nothing major. I showed some quilt blocks that um, came in for the block swap. That's about it. Uh Cool girl says, look, when they say 15 minutes, that doesn't include getting every supply ready. Exactly. It doesn't include the cutting. It doesn't include deciding which fabrics because that you're going to match up because that's part of the half the problem for me is when I pick one fabric, I got to pick another one because I don't want to make Mitch Mac, uh, Mitch Mac um, combinations. I feel like I'm still making a quilt, so I want them to match up. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It took me forever just to cut for the uh, 12 mass that I made this week. Um, Bonita says, are you finished with the albums or are you going to pick it up again? I will be making more albums. I, I probably plan to make them for Christmas gifts for family. And then every year at Christmas, we take a... Uh, photo we, we've done that sometimes but we don't do it consistently but I'm thinking every time we're together at Christmas that we take a photo and then we have our own Christmas album so I plan to make them for uh, my family for Christmas so I will be doing that again <laughs> uh, seeing for is you're funny she don't put 499 up there again she did it uh, one of the other live chats I was on she says, thanks for all you do. This is towards the tree and squirrels fun, laughing out loud. Yeah, girl, every time I see one out in my driveway, I have automatic start on my car. I start that car up and run them away, girl. I'll be trying to save my wires. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You are so, you are so funny and thoughtful. <laughs> um, uh... And Mary's confused. She's asking Ellie, what's not to trust about the stimulus check? Uh, Doris O said, T, my birthday was Easter Sunday, although we didn't go out. My Facebook friends sent out a lot of birthday wishes. That's really sweet and happy belated birthday to you as well, Doris. I hope you're still celebrating. I tend to celebrate my birthday off and on the entire month. <laughs> it just ends up like that. But yeah, I hope you had a great day as well. And I think I'm at the bottom of chat. So I'm not going to read anymore. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and end here because we are over uh, 14, almost 15 minutes. And you all know your girl only ate a bowl of cereal today. So I'm going to go fix me something to eat. And I did leave the soda alone. So I don't drink soda a lot. But I have it here. I like uh, having Sprites or 7-Up in case I get sick or something. Then that's one of the sodas that kind of help me when I'm congested. But uh, I will see you all. Hopefully things work out. And I'll see you Saturday night at 9 p.m. for So Along. We'll be still working on 
just sewing pineapple blocks. I'm not going to be doing any teaching, so I'm just going to sew. And then we're going to chat. And then I'm going to sew. And then we're going to chat some more. <laughs> so we don't do a whole lot of sewing, but we have a whole lot of fun. But uh, I will see you all Saturday at 9 p.m. if you can make it. That will be Central Standard Time. And uh, good night, everybody. Stay blessed and stay safe. Wear your mask when you go out. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're welcome, June. Good night, everybody. <laughs>